Pitt and West Virginia have been playing football since 1895. But these two old arch rivals never played it like they did on October 17, 1970. A homecoming crowd of 45,000 turned out for one of the most incredible comebacks of all time. With quarterback John Hogan on the shelf, Dave Havern drew the starting assignment. It was a game Havern will never forget. The game begins with West Virginia's high-powered offense practically blowing Pitt right off the field. The Mountaineers take a quick 14-0 lead. Then they make it 21-0. Pitt gets one back on a Ferris second quarter score. Quarterback Dave Havern makes it 21-8 on a two-point conversion. West Virginia keeps pounding, and it's 28-8. And then, unbelievably, it's 35-8. Chancellor Dr. Wesley W. Posvar is Pitt's number one sports fan. He looks for the second half to be a lot different than the first. The Chancellor was right. It was. Dave Havern hits Doug Gindon for 21 yards. Dennis Ferris winds up the 58-yard drive in pay dirt. The Panthers still have a long way to go, trailing 35-14. Havern spots Joe Klimek for the two-point conversion, and now it's 35-16. The Panther defense holds West Virginia without a first down. The offense moves it to the seven on this Havern to Esposito pass. Dave Garnett fights his way into the end zone. It's 35-22. Havern goes 